What's up guys, my name's Huganu, this is the third episode of my Minecraft series. Today I'm going to be fortifying my village and uh, fighting off a raid, so let's get into it. Before this video, I did some off-camera mining. I just gathered a bunch of cobblestone, andesite, diorite, granite, stuff like that. Um, polished some of those up. I'm also going to be making a stone cutter um, in order to uh, make like some nice stone bricks and stuff like that. Um, so that I can make a really nice, my plan is to make a really nice big wall all around the village to protect it from the raiders. When you put cobblestone in the furnace, it turns back into stone, which has a much cleaner look to it. I also made a stone cutter just now. Uh, I'm just going to try and get like uh, some stone bricks, stuff like that. So using the stone cutter, I can turn regular stone into stone bricks. So I've got all of these furnaces going right now, turning the cobblestone into stone. Um, I've got a stack in each. Um, I'm now going to start laying out the foundation of the walls. So this is kind of the back corner of the village. Going to lay down some stone bricks here. I just found a lead on the ground. Um, I guess some sort of mob dropped it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you can see I've got part of the wall up now, um, or outlined. I've got part of the wall outlined now. Um, so I'm going to just kind of start filling this up with cobblestone now. So what I'm doing right now is cooking down uh, log to get charcoal. Um, charcoal is a good supplement for like coal because um, it burns for a really, really long time. Um, so I'm just going to make a bunch of, of charcoal and then use that to continue making stone out of the cobblestone. This is taking a really long time. It's starting to come along though. You can see it down there looking pretty nice. So after what has been literal hours of playing Minecraft, of pl building this stupid, stupid wall, it's finally all up. Um, obviously there's a lot I need to work on, um, detailing, making those turrets actually look nice. Um, but it will get the job done right now um, in protecting the village 
there is one gate right there that I have um, where one of the roads runs out of the village and uh, that's hopefully going to be where all of the raiders funnel to where I'll fight them um, yeah I obviously there's a lot of work that needs to be done but I'm exhausted from building this stupid thing and from getting so much stone so I've decided that I want to start the raid now um, yeah so I need to go find some pillagers um, and then get them to curse me so that I can start a raid um, I also made a fletching table and hopefully if there's a villager looking for a profession um, he will claim the fletching table and become a fletcher which means that I can do an amazing uh, sticks for arrows deal let's see if it gets claimed does not look like it is being claimed which is a real shame because then I won't be able to get arrows as easily for the raid I guess I'll just have to go with the sword then um, hmm oh well and of course it's starting to rain I don't think it's rained yet this entire time I've been playing in this world so wait did it already did it already stop Okay, I guess I jinxed it. Great. But yeah, so I'm going to go f hopefully uh, find a pillager outpost because the pillagers I saw the other night, I don't know where they went. They must have despawned or ran away or something. Um, so I need to go find some pillagers. Um, I'm just going to use my boat that I've used to find this place um, and just look for outposts along the coast and hopefully I can get cursed not something you say too often just stocking up on some bread right now Oops. turn those hay bales into wheat, turn the wheat into bread that's all I'm doing to stay alive right now let's go see if we can find some pillagers oh man this is gonna make like searching the coast really hard with all this hazy rain going on. This is kind of crazy with all the thunder going on right now. Oh no! A beach dolphin! Get back in the water, buddy! No! Yeah, follow me! Yay! Honestly, don't think I'm probably gonna find an outpost this way. I mean, where are the chances it's going to be right on the coast where I can see it? Yeah, I'm just going to head home since it's now night. I just got a chain chest plate with fire protection and a chain helmet from that uh, skeleton. Sleep away this storm. I think I'm just going to search on land for the pillager outpost now. Um, searching by water was not working well for me. This is my first time really exploring the land, so I'm excited to see what's out here. And if this doesn't work for finding pillagers, I might just have to wait till night and hope some more spawn like uh, the last time. There are bees on my island. It's cool. 
I'll definitely have to start a bee farm sometime soon. Or a, a honey farm. So yeah, no outpost on my island. At least not on this side. I guess I'll explore the other way. Okay, look. There are two drowns fighting each other. They both have tridents. They're trying to hit me and they hit each other. Okay, one just killed one. I'm gonna try and kill the other now. This will make up for that first episode where I didn't kill the guy with the trident. Okay, they both died. Did I get anything? No. Come on. This place is super cool. I've never seen this biome before where it's like savanna, but it's also like this color grass and has all this uh, like exposed, what is this? It has like coarse dirt everywhere. I I've never really seen that before. I think I might maybe move my home out here because it's so beautiful in this little cove. Because right now my home's just kind of, you know, a work in progress. So whenever I, I fully like build a big nice home, I think it'll be out here. That would be nice. Right now I'm still looking for an outpost. Whoa, look at that drop. Cannonball. Looks like I found sunflower fields or something. Is that another village over there? Oh nice, there's another village right here. I'm just passing through looking for an outpost. Yeah, I'm not seeing any village or pillage or outposts anywhere nearby. So I'm gonna head back to my village and just stay awake a night or two. See what uh see what mobs spawn. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to make my home here sometime. This place is just too cool. I mean, look at that. Okay, that's a weird spot for a trident to have been shot to. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just waiting till night, hoping to see some more pillagers. Well, night is starting to fall. Um, sunset, you can see. Um, this is my last chance to find the pillagers. I'm really hoping it works. Um, it worked the first night. I just hope they pop up. This time I can fight them, get that curse, start the raid the next day. You can see mobs are starting to spawn. Last time I saw the pillagers, they appear to be kind of going towards the village area. So I'm curious if they might spawn near it again. Villagers, where are you? I know monsters can spawn the village because I haven't yet lit it up properly. I wonder if there are any in here. This is very frustrating to say the least. No pillagers yet. Oh hey, it's a sea turtle. Two sea turtles. <gasps> a baby sea turtle. Look at it so tiny you're so cute let's see how do I get this guy to grow up because I believe they drop something when they grow up I don't know never mind oh my goodness is that another village it is I'm still just waiting till night to see if some villagers will pop up if they don't come up tonight, then I'm going to have to end the video. Hmm, there's an Enderman here already. Oh, two of them. Oh, bad idea. I'm regretting this quickly. 
Uh, where are you? <gasps> Pillagers. Let's go. Okay, so if I kill the banner one, um, I will get a curse. I cannot let the creeper kill him. Oh my goodness. Creeper just... Oh, no. Oh, man. These guys are jerks. Oh, okay. Okay, I've got the curse. Okay, if I go into the village, a raid will start. Now this curse, it doesn't say, but I believe it lasts for an hour. An hour that I can't go into the village. So I'm going to try to sneak around the village, because I don't want the raid starting during the night. I'm going to sneak around the village. And try to make it up into my bed. If I can make it into my bed, then I can skip to dawn. And then I'm fine with starting the, the raid during the day. And I got this cool banner. Illiger banner. Um, the Illigers are like the whole like class of humanoid uh, mobs, I guess, kind of. I mean, villager-like mobs, I guess. Now I'm just hoping that my house isn't technically within the boundaries of the village. <laughs> oh. Did you just blow up my path? Alrighty. So, when I jump in there, the raid will begin. They should come pouring in through there. Well, let's get this started. Okay, see at the top? A raid just started. See that pink line? Uh, that kind of just shows you how the raid, or er, that shows you how the waves are coming along. Uh, um, should probably go ring the bell, warn everybody. Okay, there goes the the iron gum. Oh, and he's already getting hit. Oh man, the iron gum's gonna be dead quick. Need to get in there and help him. Do you see how much loot they drop though? It says there's one mob remaining. See that at the top there? Oh, there he is. Oh, and the iron gum died. No. Okay, the next wave's coming soon. You can see all the loot I've already gotten. Ooh, an enchanted crossbow. Unbreaking and piercing. Ooh. I guess they're not coming from this side. Oh, this is not good. I hope they didn't spawn inside the walls. Sounds like they're right on the other side of this wall, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm on the wall. I don't see the last one, so I'm going to drop down here and grab all this loot real quick. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. But I must say the wall is working very well in keeping them out. Okay, now the next wave's going to start. This uh, piercing crossbow is amazing because it can hit two people at once. You know, you can shoot through one and then hit the guy who's behind him. Um, which is really handy. 
Okay, you see that big boy? That's a Ravager. Oh man, this is not gonna be good. These things have like a ton of health. Whew. Okay, I killed it and I got a saddle. <laughs> That's great. <gasps> and they're all right here. Okay, it looks like the witches are attacking the other raiders. They must have accidentally shot the witches. That's great. I'll let them keep hurting each other. Okay, I killed them, but the witches poisoned me pretty good. I need to get back inside. Oh no, it's not going to be, it's going to be happening at night. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, that level almost killed me. I think I need to sneak back home and skip to dawn once this poison wears off. Okay, I can sleep really quickly and then go fight those guys. Oh no, they're in the village, aren't they? Yeah, the raiders are in the village now. This is not good. I hope they don't kill all my villagers. Oh man, he almost killed me. I need to heal up real quick. And by that I mean eat some bread and naturally regenerate. That was laggy. Right, there's a guy riding this one. Let's see if I can take it real quick. Oh no, this is not gonna be good. And there's an evoker back there. That guy is basically a magic caster. Oh, okay, so yeah, this guy can be, he's basically an evil wizard. Uh, he's casting all sorts of terrifying spells at me. Do you see that there were like mouths that came out of the ground at me? Yes, I am the hero of the village. That's what that uh, new thing, uh, that blessing I've got up there looks like. Um, basically, I defeated the raid, and the entire village is grateful for it. So they have, uh, what it does is it cuts prices down um, for trades. Um, I believe in some versions they throw stuff at you, which is nice, like gifts that the villagers give you. Yay! Yeah, see, it used to cost like 32, now it's only 25. So yay, I won the raid. That is super awesome. Anyway, I beat the raid, so that ends the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Um, also consider subscribing, that would be uh, really cool if you did. Um, any comments you leave, I'll try to get to as quickly as possible. Next episode, I'm going to relocate my house from on top of that hill to that cool cove I found and actually make it look good for once. So I'll see you guys then.